Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kenny, and I'm gonna be showing you an easy, the most easiest way you can create your template for um, sublimating 11 ounce mugs. Super easy tutorial. And before I get into the video, special shout out to all the subscribers, the new subscribers, even the non-subscribers for checking out the content. I appreciate y'all for watching, asking those questions, dropping those comments. And if you're new to the channel, just subscribe right now. I got a few playlists ready for you, all about sublimation content. So let's dive into the video. I'm gonna set up the camera. Let's get it. All right, we're gonna do the measurements. What you're gonna measure it with. This is a pretty good uh, handy measuring tape that you can get probably at Walmart. You know, if push comes to shove, you have to use something like this or a ruler, at least get the height. It's the most important. Okay, but it's gonna be hard to get the, the wrap around with this. But this is only for 11 ounce mugs only. Cause with the height, you gotta keep in mind, trying to sublimate a mug, something like this. You got the two tone lip and you got a groove right here. So basically you wanna do your measurements from here to here. Because if you try to sublimate at the bottom, you're going to miss that part completely. And this, this is going to look real tacky. So just keep in mind, the height is probably the most important thing. And the majority of 11 ounce mugs, something like this, this is nice and flat. So you got a good part to sublimate on. And it's good to know your height. So we got three and a half and maybe a couple millimeters. There's little dashes right there. Hopefully I'm saying it right, millimeters or centimeters. So you wanna write down with the pen and paper for the height, 3.52, okay? Now with the mug, since this is pretty flat, it's not necessary, but you can do your measurement and just wrap this around. This is approximately about 10.3, 10.03, 10 inches, three millimeters. So for the length, you will write down 10.03, everything's in inches. So at least you know the round, the length of your mug. But I'm gonna show you the easy way now. The most important is the height. At least get the measurement of the height. Now we're just going to hop on the computer. I'm going to show you how to get this template made. All right, so we're on the computer and we're going to be using Google Chrome. So don't forget that you got your measurements written down. And also just keep in mind when we create our template, all this is going to make sense because of the handle part. So. Google Chrome, I'm gonna minimize myself. And we're gonna be searching for Canva. And this is a free software that you can actually use. A lot of people use it. Or you can type in, in the address bar, canva.com. I'm just gonna click on that. And if you come to this page, if you're already familiar with this, signed up to it, you can log in on the top right, or you can sign up sign up using your email or you can fill out the required fields and you still have to use the email and they'll email you and you can verify your email address and some information they provide for you so i'm just gonna go ahead and log in and if you gotta sign up uh, you can pause the video that way you can take it step by step and if you're familiar with this you already know um to create a design will be on the top right for those that's new you can always come back and check out Canva um, at a later time, but we're gonna be concentrating on getting the template done. So look on your top right where it says create a design. Click on that. Again, it's gonna be top right, create a design, and then go all the way to the bottom to where it says custom size. I think it has a little plus sign, circle. Click on that and you'll have width, height, PX, 
stands for pixels and got a little down arrow click on that and we're going to be clicking on in for inches and for the width so remember I measure it 10 inches and approximately three millimeters but we're actually going to be using nine inches that way it won't sublimate the template will be too big and will try to be covering the mug and cause a headache so the height was three and a half inches and two millimeters right but we're going to make it 3.75 that way if you decide to make a color background you can definitely cover the top to the bottom so once you get 3.75 typed in just click on create a new design and it's going to open up a new tab and this is your template now real quick if you click on the white template right here you're going to see this little color background it's right where it says edit timing the background you can actually change the color if you want to so we're just going to leave it white for right now and if you look to your left top left you got home don't click on it you got file resize and then you got the undo button so if you happen to make a mistake this little curve part right here undo if you click on that whatever mistake you made it'll reset it back to the previous uh, designing part so now we got our canvas we're going to actually open up a new tab so on the top just open up a new tab and we're going to type in 11 ounce mug template hit enter and near the top where you see all images shopping video news click on images and we're probably gonna have to scroll down a few rows. So we're gonna scroll down one, two, three, four, five, about six rows. And we're looking for this template that has the glasses and a mustache. Let's click on that. This is what we're looking for, this template right here. It's going to in the middle, it's gonna have the mug, 11 ounce template, nine inches width by three and a half inches height. What you want to do is right click on it on the image save image as and you can name it whatever you want I'm gonna call it 11 ounce mug template and saving it and it's going to drop down to the bottom left and we're going to go back to the previous tab back to our template now if you happen to close this out you can always upload it on the left hand side where you see templates, elements, and uploads. And you can upload your media and you can find it underneath your file explorer folder. But if you have it still saved on your windows on the bottom left, you can left click on it, hold it, and just drag the image onto the canvas and it should appear like that. And once you have it on the canvas, just click on it and be able to size it from the corners. So what we're gonna do is pick any corner and we're just gonna drag it all the way to the edge and take the opposite corner and just drag it out. So this is nine inches, okay? Now what we're gonna do, right above this template, right above it, you're gonna see these two little icons. Duplicate page with a little plus sign and then add a page. You want to click on add page and it's going to bring up page two. So page two is where you can actually bring in your own design or use some of the elements that Canva has provided for you for free and create your mug, whatever design you want right here. So do a quick design that way you can duplicate and make something and that way you can see how you can get the 
the same design on both sides of the mug. So to the left, I'm gonna click on elements. I'm gonna click on flowers. And I'm gonna grab little graphics. But this on the when you click on elements, you got a search bar. You can actually search a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna pick this free and make sure page two is selected when it's blue. And then all you gotta do is click on whatever uh, element picture that you want. And this is our design. Once you click on it, you can actually hold down the left uh, clicker button on the mouse and drag it. See this line? This is your center part going left to right. And this is your center right here, which is lining up with the template above. So what we're gonna do is line this up on the left hand side to the above image. And how I'm scrolling up and down, you can use the middle roller part on your mouse. This is how I can scroll up or down. And you can size your image any way you want. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Make sure it's centered. Now to the left, I wanna add some text. So you can find the text right here. Uh, they got pre-text and stuff if you're new. Check that out later. So we're just gonna add a heading. And you can see this little circle button, like a little cross with the arrow sticking out. You can actually drag that around and type in whatever you want. Just gonna put text here. And you can line this up over your design. If you see like a red dotted, let me zoom up just a little bit. So right here is zoom, this little bar right here. So if you go ahead and line it up right above your design, your picture, you see that it's centered. You scroll up a little bit and you can see that it's nearly almost perfect right above the template guide above. I'm just going to add another text, another heading. text here and I'm just going to drag it over and line that up so this is for demonstration purposes so you can always change your text right up here where it says open sans extra click down that pick any font you want that's free or you can upload your own font I'm not sure if you got to be a paid subscriber for that um, to the right is the font size. You can change the font any way you want. Um, the text color, so you can change the colors. It's pretty cool. And if you go a little bit further to the right, effects, you can actually do a lot of different text, um, change up the text, even curve it if you want to. So we're just gonna leave it as none. But now we're gonna size up everything. So we're gonna make this image a little bit bigger. And how we do that is we're gonna left click any corner, top or bottom, left click and hold, and you wanna select the whole text. So you wanna actually make this blue, light blue. And this is all selected now. So we're just going to stretch it out and when you stretch it out, you're going to see the width and the height measurement and these are in inches. So we're going to make that about three right here. I'm just going to drag this down and I'm going to make this 3.4 because remember you got three and a half inches to play with. Looks good. If you want to make sure everything is centered, you can kind of eyeball it a little bit and there you go again if you make the mistake say you accidentally uh, didn't know how to highlight everything and move everything and you did something like this go back 
to the top blue bar and find the undo button. Click the undo, it can reset everything, highlight everything, and then move it. So also to highlight everything and duplicate this image, just right click it, so it says copy, you can right click and paste. And be careful, it's already select everything. Just click on it anywhere on the image and you can just drag it out. Even. And place that a little bit over. Right about there looks good. And if you want to center everything, let me fix this a little bit. If you want to make sure everything is centered, you're going to highlight both designs. So you're going to stretch it out all the way centered, and then you're going to move it until you get the crosshairs. The red line in the middle and the red line going across. And then you click off. Say so you want to add some color. Just click anywhere at white on the white part of the canvas. Change the color. go everything looks good and that's it that's your template for now so you're happy with it remember this is already saved this is also on canva and you go ahead and delete the page and there's your template with your design if you want to go ahead and finish this click on download on the top right and you can also rename this as well. So on the top right where it says share, get Canva Pro, and you see text here. Basically, you can change the name to flower or whatever. Then click download. You won't have to worry about transparent background or any of that kind of stuff. You want to save it as a PNG as suggested, or you click the down arrow. You can't save it as an SVG if you're using the free version. But we're gonna leave it as a PNG. It's downloading, and you can find that stuff in your files explorer folder. And that is it. And also, if you ever want to come back to this design, and let's say you, um, you want to work on this some more, you can actually click on home. Bring you back to the home page. Now, on the left hand side, if you click on all your designs, every design that you do on here will be saved. And that way you have access to it. If for whatever reason you can't find it or got deleted or you just want to add more to it. So, hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. That's how you create a template on 11 ounce mug. This is what I use. Came out pretty flawless. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace. Stay blessed. Stay true. I'm out.